I would say that uh, I would do a lot of historical things right, and all sure. that. But but basically, I would say that for most overwhelmingly for people that uh, can invest over time, that uh, that equities are the best place to put their money. You see Paulson in gold and some of these other guys in gold or commodities. Are you just not comfortable with commodities? Are there times where you should be? downplaying maybe stocks or businesses and going totally full bore into commodities, but you're just not comfortable doing that? No, the alternative with me, Joe, the alternative, uh, I, don't like, I don't like fixed dollar investments at all. I don't like short-term bonds. I don't like long-term bonds. We own a lot of short-term bonds, but that is not because we like them. That's just a parking place. But the alternative, in, in my view, I mean, it, you, certainly commodities can be an alternative, but the alternative uh, is income producing assets of one sort or another that, that are not fixed dollar type investments. And so I, I, I've said consistently for the last few years, I, I would vastly prefer to own common stocks than fixed dollar investments over a five or 10 year period. I don't know about the next five hours or five days. And that might very well extend to rental real estate. It might extend to farms. I mean, an investment you're looking for something where you put out money now and that asset that you buy gives you back more money over time. Now, the problem with commodities is that you're betting on what somebody else will pay for them in six months. The commodity itself isn't going to do anything for you. So there's two types of, of assets to buy. One is where the asset itself delivers a return to you, such as you know rental property, stocks, uh, uh, a farm, and then there's assets that you buy where you hope somebody else pays you more later on, but the asset itself doesn't produce anything. And those are two different games. I regard the second game as speculation. Now, there's nothing immoral or illegal or fattening about speculation, but it is an entirely different game to buy a lump of something and hope that somebody else pays you more for that lump two years from now than it is to buy something that you expect to produce income for you over time. A piece of art you know, may, may go from $1,000 to $50 million, but it's dependent on what the next guy wants to pay me. The, the, the art itself, the, the painting itself, is not going to dispense cash. So I have to find somebody that's going to like it more. And with most, with an asset like gold, for example, you know, basically, gold is a way of, 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 of going long on fear. And, and it's been a pretty good way of going long on fear from time to time. But you really have to hope people become more afraid in a year or two years than they are now. And if they become more afraid, you make money. If they become less afraid, you lose money. I, w I will say this about gold. Uh, if you took all of the gold in the world, it would, f it would roughly make a cube 67 feet on a side. So if you took all the gold in the world, we could have a cube that went down there 67 feet, uh -huh. 67 feet high, and that would be the whole thing. Now, for that same cube of gold, it would be worth, at today's market prices, about $7 trillion. For $7 trillion, there are roughly a billion far acres of farmland in the United States. They're valued at about $2.5 trillion. It's about half the continental United States is farmland. Uh, you could have all of the farmland in the United States. You could have about seven Exxon Mobiles and you could have a trillion dollars of walking around money. And if you offered me the choice of looking at some 67 foot uh, cube of gold and looking at it all day, you know, and maybe <laughs> touching it, fond fondling it occasionally, you know, and then saying, you know, do something for me. And it says, I don't do anything. I just stand here and look pretty. And, and, <laughs> and the alternative to that was to have all the farmland of the country, everything, cotton, corn, soybeans, seven Exxon Mobiles, just think of that. Add a trillion dollars of walking around money. I, I you know, the, maybe call me crazy, but I'll, I'll take the farmland <laughs> of the Exxon Mobiles. <laughs> All right, that makes some sense. Carl, you've got a question too? I, I'm, I'm still trying to get the image of Warren fondling a giant block of gold <laughs> yeah. out of my mind. His fondling it occasionally well, was, uh, what, was what stuck bring, with me. Bring, bring fondling me a giant, it, fondling bring me it a giant block. <laughs> Bring me a giant block of gold and you'll see me fondle like you've never seen before. <laughs> you had a shareholder who asked you a question about gold over the weekend, and your response was pretty in interesting. Berkshire versus gold, you want to talk about how that's performed over the years? Yeah, but we can go beyond that. But it certainly, when we took over Berkshire, uh, Berkshire was selling at $15 a share and gold was selling at $20 an ounce. And, and gold is now 1600 
and uh, Berkshire's 120,000. But a productive asset of any kind, a decent productive asset, is going to kill a non-productive asset over time. Now, in any given one-year period, five-year period, any asset can outperform another asset. What, let's just wait, and I'll ask him a follow-up to, because you do get paid back with, with your investments in dollars, and if those dollars are, you know, are gonna be worth much less in the future, then I figure you must, you must figure policymakers are gonna get it together eventually, Warren, or, or else, uh, you know, paper money's not gonna be worth anything. Well, but that's true of, uh, if, you're, if you're training to be a lawyer or you're training to be uh, uh, on, on, on uh, cable or anything else, you're going to get paid in dollars. Now, the question is if you have something valuable to offer, even if the dollar gets worth less, you will retain earning power that's commensurate with purchasing power. Mm -hmm. And if, I mean, Coca-Cola, the, the, in the years since I was born, the dollar has depreciated 94%. I mean, it's 16 for one in terms of inflation. But if you owned Coca-Cola in 1930, uh, you've stun still done pretty well. Or if you owned a lot of good businesses in 1930, because they, they have the ability to extract real earnings in terms of what they deliver to people. And your doctor is able to charge 16 times as much as in 1930, because the services are still as valuable. So as the currency gets worth less, it, it does not make, it, it does not penalize the service or the good that is really needed by other people. The, the world adapts. Mm -hmm. And that's why I like businesses or I like my own earning power as, as the best assets in a time of inflation. They really can't be taken away. Uh, you bring up that the stock market has doubled over the last three years when we've been sitting here. And uh, again, there are many people who now worry that the, the best and easiest gains are over. You said yourself in the last hour that it's not springtime anymore. No. Does that? change what people the way that people should be looking at the stock market as a potential investment they should be looking at the funds they're going to save i mean that's that's those are the only funds you say they invest with and figure out what's the best thing to do with them and they can buy farmland they can buy apartment houses they can buy duplexes they can buy businesses they can buy businesses through stocks they can buy rare stamps they can buy gold uh, 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 or they can stick it in money market accounts and all they've always got all those options and I've written a section in the annual report why I think that businesses are the best option. Now, the nice thing about businesses in this country is you can buy into all the best businesses in the United States virtually. You can buy a piece of them. And you don't have to buy, you know, if, if, if you don't understand company XYZ, you can buy company ABC. 